Is that thing recording? I believe it is. We're going to cut out a coat rack if it's recording. Whether or not we're going to cut out a coat, coat rack. So, here we go. Them stink bugs is everywhere. Scoop it up. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Well, here's the finished product. Uh, if we can get you to focus there, yeah. That's going to be a coat rack. I ain't going to post this till after I send it to old Cutworm. He, he's all kind of missing stuff, and I decided to make him a coat rack somewhere where he can hang his troubles. Be back in a minute. Don't make it pretty, just rub it and rub it and rub it. After a while. There it is. Ready for a little finish. Got the screw holes in it for the hooks. Here's the hooks. Get one of them loose. There's what it'll look like with a hook on it. Okay. Howdy. I'm getting ready to put another coat up. This men wax. Hand rub stuff. Wipe on poly. I really like this. It does good. Seems to put an awful good finish on. And, uh, we, uh, Learn a little trick. Here a few years back, you can uh, take like 800,000 grit paper and just kind of use it like you would water sanding, but use this poly instead of water, and it puts on a real good finish. It uh, it's not hard to do, really. Just Pour a little out here, about like that, and get your sandpaper. Get wet, dry sandpaper. I think this is a thousand grit. It is, and just uh, wet sand with it. Be sure and get rid of all your bubbles and everything. And it puts a real nice finish on there. It's just a sleepy splice. Actually, put it on there. I like to do this two or three times. It just uh, gives it a real nice finish and uh, makes it pretty. I probably should have stained this a little bit darker, but I like the natural look, and I hope Cutworm does too. Seems like if you stain it, you're kind of cheating a little bit. And, uh, you can just feel that sandpaper cutting that in or smoothing it or whatever you want to call it. But it gives it a finish just like a piece of glass. And I like that. 
cut where my mouth dread his holes out a little bit more. <laughs> have them full of polyurethane. We don't do real fancy work. We, we ain't in the same category as like Buck Woodshop or somebody like that that does real high end stuff. But we can take an old piece of wood and make it shine. That's about all anybody can do. Really. Well, Edge here. It's hard to get it to really take polyurethane the way you'd want it to. Now I just rub it a little bit and then I'll get me a rag. And put another coat of that on a little lighter. But there you are. That's a coat of hand rubbed polyurethane. And the next and I'll probably do the same way. And then the last and I'll probably just take a rag and put it on there. But uh, that's it. See you out a while. Well, here we go again. I'm going to put some more on this. I believe this time I'm going to just uh, put it on with a rag. And the next time I'll put it on with a sandpaper. I'll go back and forth. It seems to work good like that. Just rub it on there. Shadows is hitting it now, and you can really tell if we're getting any bubbles or anything in it. A little bit of on the edge here. Good. That's going to make a nice coat rack. I'll put one, maybe two more coats of the hand rub stuff on there. Send that to Arkansas. I believe old Cutworm will like it. I hope he does anyway. Later. Well. There it is. I just set them hooks on there. It'll have to be screwed on when it gets to cut worms. If you put them on there, the post office will break them. There's the little coat rack. I thought it turned out fairly well. It, it ain't no great piece of furniture, but it's something you can hang a coat on. Pretty morning here in the mountains of North Carolina. There's a sort of a shot back toward the east. And there's our old run down house trailer. It ain't much, but. Taxis ain't bad, honey, do they? There's a little bit of lumber. We're just about out of lumber. We're going to have to get down there and get the sewing. Fortunately, we've sold every bit we've made here lately. And leaves is a changing. Back that way. It's a little bit dark. 
There's a pumpkin. We raised a bunch of pumpkins this year. I don't know what we're going to do with them. We got them. But that's about it. All that's left of the old garden is a little bit of hot pepper and a few cabbage heads. Probably went too far. That's about it. So long from CNM Zomville, Mike McCoy. I'll catch you later.